Yo, it's Keku, and today we're back with another video. So I've been wanting to talk about an anime that I watched about a year ago. It's called The Classroom of the Elite. It's kind of underrated. It's, I heard it was only uh, made to promote the light novel, which kind of sucks. But I'm today, I'm going to be talking about why the anime deserves a season 2. If you haven't watched the anime or even like read a bit of the light novel, that's okay. I'm just gonna be get, I'm just gonna be explaining it here. But if you haven't watched the anime, I'm gonna be going deep into deep into season one. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna give you a, a, a quick synopsis, right quick. So basically, it's kind of like a, a, a hierarchy. Um. So first, there's freaking there's class D, then class C, then class B, then class A. So basically. Um, this they're going to a school that grants them a hundred percent um job opportunities in college. If they when they graduate from the high school, they get instantly a good job, good money, all that stuff. As long as they do good, of course. So the main character in the, in the story is called Ayana Koji. He's a more difficult character that isn't really explained why he does the reason that he does, but he's actually more intelligent than he leads on. He is more for he is more like he's one of the smartest characters in the whole uh, series. He, he, I'm not gonna go into the backstory. I know about it because I got spoiled, but yeah, they go more deep into it in the light novel, which I'm not gonna read, of course. Yeah, his character. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go into reason one. Ayana Koji. Ayana Koji is one of the best characters of all of maybe slice of life anime, in my opinion. I just like that overall character and smart smartiness of his he is just so like amazing he doesn't care about anything even in both english dub and sub his voice is just either boring or sound, just sounds sad i like the sub better uh, on, uh honestly because it just shows more of his character subs are always usually good I only watch subs when i have to honestly but yeah Ayan Koji is just, he's a mystery. He doesn't explain why he does stuff. He does the stuff for no reason. He's, his character needs to be more developed if it was a season two. I've been hearing rumors going around that it comes out around September, which I think is false. I just hate when anime channels always make, like they're always just short videos saying, oh, and a, a Pacific anime is getting a season two uh, date whenever. Um, I just hate when anime channels do that because one, it just gets our hopes up for nothing, which is bullshit, honestly. It just makes no sense. What's the point of lying to us? And two, they just want it for views. They want to exploit the fan base of the anime, which kind of sucks. I'm not saying that all anime channels do this, of course. Just certain ones that I'm not going to say. But sometimes they are right, and it just happened. And maybe they did, I'm not going to blame them entirely for it, because maybe false rumors get spread around like that. But still... If you don't know if you if you don't know if your information is factual, then don't publish it out there. Anyways, on to my next reason. So, for the second reason I want Classroom to Elite to come back is the light novel is popular, and I don't want to read it, of course. I don't really read light novels. I know it's kind of hypocritical that I'm saying this. I'm writing my own light novel. I say that I said that in my uh, last video. I'm pretty sure, not my last video, but uh, before that, yeah. I'm writing my own light novel that I'm not going to speak about here because it's irrelevant. But yeah, the light novel is really popular. I've heard it's more it's more popular in Japan than Eastern. I can see why. It's a great light novel. I've seen some reviews on it. I haven't read it myself though. I don't plan on to, honestly. But yeah, it's a very popular uh, light novel in the in Japan. I really don't understand why it got boycotted in the first place. So I'm I'm guessing people were saying that it wasn't exactly like the light novel and the anime weren't the same, which is kind of stupid to me. They kind of just changed up the dynamic between Ayana Koji and Horikita. And Horikita is a tsundere in the anime, which is good. I don't understand why people just say, oh, they should have been more lovey-dovey. It's the first season, for God's sake. So they're not supposed to be lovey-dovey right there. She's a tsundere. She's a loner. That's more. That's great. That's more... Uh, I like that more about uh, Korakita in the anime, the light novel. I haven't read the light novel, but they were saying that they're all, um, she was more uh, nicer in the light novel, which makes no damn sense. She should just be the way she is in the anime. She's, that would be so boring to watch. 
the dynamic between them two would not even correlate like that. But yeah, it's just, it's so stupid how they boycott the anime just for having one single difference off. I understand that was a big difference, like it's freaking Naruto, and they had like Key or something. That's that's t- totally different. But it's just one single change that the anime got boycotted for. It doesn't deserve to, it's, they're just saying it doesn't deserve to have a season two. But it's kind of stupid, that's, that it makes no sense. The animation was good. There's, I'm not saying there's no flaws in the show, which there are. But I thought there's more goods in the show than uh, bad. With the hierarchy and class D, class C, class A, class B, all them classes just competing for the point system, the S system. They have just they just have so many freaking things going for them in the show, and it's really a waste of potential. I also think I also seen a, a few reviews of the anime online, which kind of had an unfair opinion. They're saying that it just they have a no goal in the end. I saw an uh, anime channel review about two years ago, uh, came out about two years ago. Um, I haven't, I'm not gonna say which channel it is because that's kind of rude, but yeah. Um, they were saying that they don't really have an end goal, they don't go to class C or anything like that. But it, it's the first season for God's sake, it's not supposed to have anything crucial in it at first because it's the first season, they don't, they're not gonna do anything. to just like. They're working up the layers. It's just like how My Hero Academia does it. The first season, we didn't get to see Class 1A at all. We did a little bit, but we didn't get to know the personalities or anything like that. We just focused on Deku. We fo- they focused on him because they want to establish his character first before getting messy into other characters. They want to establish the main character before they can do side characters, which makes sense. But yeah, um, the, an- the anime is really underrated. I've seen... Uh, I got I kind of got my hopes up the other day when, when I was looking at Crunchyroll and seeing that uh, uh, a classroom of the elite uh, clip was posted. This kind of got my hopes up because maybe the rumors are true and classroom of the elite is maybe getting a teaser at um, the end of the end of season. I mean the end of September. I really don't I really don't think that's the case. But if it is the case, then great. I just made this video for no reason. But yeah, well, I'm pretty sure White Fox animates it. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. But I think could Quoku Dai and uh, White Fox animates it. I didn't even know White Fox animates so much stuff. White Fox animates ReZero, which is um, coming out in, uh, I think, August or July, which is pretty good. I'm going to be waiting for that. I'll be um, making a review for uh, the whole season two when it comes out, uh, when it drops fully. I'm going to be spending my opinion about it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, then uh, leave a like. If you didn't, uh, leave a dislike. And it's been your boy Keku, and I'm out.